Welcome to Devlog 4. Before we begin, in the last Devlog, I asked you all to suggest me some names for my game. Let's check them out. Oh, by the way, I got tired of talking over a black screen. So here I am, the era of assassins and templars. This one has energy. I'll add it to the list. Name it Creed. Name it Blocks Creed. Better than the last one, I'm gonna add it to the list. Name suggestion, Senso. Ooh, this one was really close to becoming my favorite, but in my opinion, the name of the game should in some way explain how the game works. Taking an example of other games, for example Block Fruits, which explains that there's something to do with fruits in the game. The Strongest Battlegrounds, which explains that there's going to be a battlegrounds with competitive players. Even games like Doors, Fish or Blade Ball explains what the game's about. Don't even get me started with this one. I mean, it has RP in its name, so... Anyways, back to the topic. I feel like if it had something with Senso, then it would have been good. For example, Senso something. Or something Senso. I'll still add it to the list though. Oh, and if you're wondering what this list is for, so in every video, I'm gonna pick some of your suggestions, select the ones which I liked, and then do a spin the wheel. I think this is gonna carry out for the next 5 to 6 devlog. And then at last, I'm gonna add a poll for you all to vote. So keep suggesting names, and thank you for your patience. Let's start with the devlog now. So I decided that the game would start inside the player's house. But for that, I must make the exterior of the house first. So I started modeling the exterior of the house. So this is how the exterior looks like and this is what it looks like in wireframe rendering. So after that I started texturing the model and for textures I use PBR textures through material variants. So I placed the exterior of the house behind the previous spawn. Next, I started working on the interior, and hear me out, I'm not good at designing interiors, but still, I tried. And this is the player's room. It has a bed, it has a television, everything the player needs. And this is what Giovanni Auditore, I, I, I mean the player's dad's office looks like. And this is what it looks like in-game. This is the player's room, which has everything the player needs, though you cannot interact with them. Oh, in case you're wondering, no, you cannot go up these stairs. I was a bit lazy to make the entire house, though you don't even need the entire house. Actually, you don't even need the player's room, I just made it for fun. Next, I wanted to improve the game's terrible lighting. For that, I changed the technology of the future, added shadows, and made a few more adjustments. I also imported a simple sky model from the toolbox, I hope you can forgive me this time. <clears throat> After that, I made a few adjustments and shifted the spawn point to the interior of the house. After that, I made the proximity prompt interactable, so when you click the proximity prompt that appears on the door, you exit the house or enter the house. And finally, time to test it. Yep, that's definitely something that's not supposed to happen. So after a quick bug fix, it works. Next, I started working on the cart which would have the haystacks. I didn't know whether or not I was modeling it as accurate as Assassin's but I still kept on modeling it. Until the worst possible thing happened. Wait, my studio just crashed. It didn't even let me save. I was heartbroken for two minutes after this incident. But then I quickly got back to work and made this model. Then I started texturing the model. Of course with PBR textures, they're my favorite. So after texturing, 
an even greater issue arrived. Basically, I couldn't make the model for haystack, so I just decided to import it from the toolbox. But the thing is, I can't find a single good one. I kept on searching and searching in order to find the one that fits, but I couldn't find anyone. I even tried searching in different PBR texture websites, but I couldn't find any. And after an hour, I finally made the decision. I know it's bad, I'm gonna change it in the future. And for now, I just added a seat inside the haystack. Finally, it's time to test it. Oh, I missed. This time for sure. Oh, I forgot to disable color. Let's go! Yeah, it's working, but we can see our head, so we're technically not hidden. To fix that, I just changed the animations of the player when seated. That's pretty much what I added in this devlog. But wait, let's do the spin the wheel, which I mentioned earlier in this video. Alright, here we go. Seems like Block Street is moving to the next round which was suggested by these two people. Suggestion time. Learn module scripts for your combat system or it might get spaghetti and laggy. Now that's true for the most part, but I don't know how to use module scripts. I tried learning module scripting, but it didn't go as planned, so I decided to learn it afterwards. Now when I say afterwards, I mean when I actually need module scripting, so don't get mad in the comments. Well, I have no clue what you're talking about, but uh, I, 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 I don't know. Thanks. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, you can write a line of code in the command bar to organize your workspace and save the hassle. I already know this one, but thanks. If you're a new developer, then keep learning before actually making a thing in the game. I actually have a test project in which I script random ideas that I come across in my mind. Add a block system and make some shields. Actually, I do have a block system in the game, but I never showed it to y'all. That's because it doesn't really work against enemies. Wait, why is my character red? And about shields, well, I decided to give shields when you become a Templar. That's because no ordinary human being would carry a shield while walking down the streets. I don't know if I should give shields to assassins too, but we'll talk about shields later. Anyways, that's pretty much it in this devlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to support me. If you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to comment. I read everyone's comments, but it's impossible to take everyone's suggestion in one video. So forgive me if I didn't take yours. Alright, that's it. Have a good day.